If you are currently in Path and Farm class, may God strengthen you. You see, Path and Farm class is that dreaded year in medical school that your senior colleagues attempt to mentally ready you for. It is nicknamed the toughest year in medical school. The year that when you get past, you are certain you survive medical school. In fact, you are certain you survive anything life brings to you. I remember back then in 400 level on one of those random days in Path and Farm, a classmate turns to me and said, once I finish this Path and Farm eh, even signboard and no go read again. I saw things in Path and Farm class. The sheer amount of what you have to read, understand, cram, memorize, remember, record, recall and pour during exams makes it incredibly difficult. This is the first class that everybody is openly admitting that they are reading. Yes, that class made all of us openly admit that we are reading. In my med school, you must pass each individually. Hempat, mobile anatomy, microbiology, hematology and pharmacology. If you fail one of the four subjects in pathology, you receive all four subjects rather than just the subject you failed. This is why we call Path and Farm the rate the meeting step of medical school. Path and Farm did me strong thing. That class tested my sanity. Very short yet so voluminous. There was little or no time for socializing and outings as you have an in course or test almost every week. One time, I observed the faces of my classmates during a lecture and every one of us looked mentally exhausted. The mental exhaustion spiraled into the way we even worked. Myself and my classmates were literally living on 4-5 to five hours of sleep and we had to show up every day with our brains fully ready to fire stuff and give the right answers to questions in class. How we survived Path and Farm, many of us don't even know to date. Hello there, this is Medzone TV, home to medical school excellence. Medzone TV is an online medical community that presents you with series of web packed activities ranging from captivating stories, top-notch medical contents, fascinating videos, quizzes, monthly challenges, and a lot more you can't afford to miss. In today's video, we'll be sharing with you 7 proven ways to success in Path and Farm class and how you can utilize them to improve your chances of survival in 400 level. Please sit back, relax, and listen. The 400 level class is an entirely different ball game when compared to BMS. It's a whole new world of medicine where you are introduced to your first medicine and surgery postings, which is popularly called M1 and S1 postings, with each posting lasting about 8 to 10 weeks. This class is supposed to be called pathology, pharmacology, medicine, and surgery because you do all four courses in 400 level. However, medicine and surgery is not the hard call of 400 level. Don't focus so much on clinical medicine and surgery, but read your slides. My advice for us during this posting is to try to click as many patients as possible. Understand how to click but don't waste valuable time. It's called pathology and pharmacology class for a reason. Pathology and pharmacology is structured to provide a comprehensive understanding of the underlying mechanisms of diseases and the use of drugs for treatment. This class forms the basis of diagnosis and treatment in your clinical practice. The classes often emphasize diseases that are prevalent in our region, including infectious diseases, tropical illnesses, and non communicable diseases. Pathology is made up of anatomic pathology or morbid anatomy, chemical pathology, microbiology, and hematology. It's so broad that you can be overwhelmed, especially towards your professional exam. Pharmacology, on the other hand, can be hard to recall, and the poor test scores can double your doubts that you eventually pass. The curriculum could pass for a 5 years course, yet in most schools, you have to complete the class in less than 9 months. Back then in Path and Farm, we had classes Mondays to Fridays, sometimes even Saturdays from 8am to 5pm for straight 6 months without holidays. We had in-course exams or tests almost every week. Lunch break was just an hour. When classes ended, we were usually too exhausted and weak to study. Before you even get a grasp of what is going on, boom, 5 new slides. Every other class gives you time to prepare for their exams, but that was usually not the case in Path and Farm because of how voluminous it was. This is not to scare young medics, but truth be told, these two courses would either make or marry you in medical school. But with the right tips and information, you'll be able to scale through successfully, so don't panic. Just follow the tips and strategies we'll be sharing with you in this video, and you'll be fine. The first proven way to survive Path and Farm is to be time conscious. To excel in pathology and pharmacology, you need to understand how to balance your studies with other commitments. That farm is very short yet so voluminous, so you need to plan your time and your study very well. It is difficult to survive year 4 without reading at night because classes start by 8 and end by 5 pm most of the times. 
Some of my classmates read, ate, and slept in class during Path and Fan. This class requires you to create a study schedule that allows for focused study sessions while still accommodating other responsibilities. Don't allow the work to pile. Read by the day. Path Fan class is hectic because of the work volume and limited time. Most people have their first ever receipt in med school in Path Fan because they fail to start early. In my medical school, when you get receipts, the next class continues. No one waits for nobody, which means you are reading for your receipt exams and at the same time, the class is already moving ahead with the next level, so it's a gamble. You either focus on your receipt or you do both, which puts you at a disadvantage because if you end up not passing the receipt exam, you are going to repeat the previous class. Another key to success in pathology and pharmacology is consistency. One thing I can say about 400 level is that it tested my level of consistency. It was crazy for me trying to study after classes, especially because we had classes Mondays to Fridays, sometimes even Saturdays from 8am to 5pm for straight 6 months without holidays. Before you even get a grasp of what is going on, boom, new set of materials have dropped on the class page. It was energy draining. I had textbooks constantly open. Microbiology and chem parts really could me. Maybe the anatomy and pharmacology wanted to embarrass me. I didn't know if medical school could get any harder, but somehow I remained consistent. I opted for easier ways of studying, like engaging in group discussions, watching videos, and solving past questions. Just like me, you can find a shortcut that will work for you. 400 level is not about how much you read, but about how much you are able to understand and how much you can pour in the exams. Moving on, another proven way to survive in Path and Farm is to attend all your lectures and practicals. Attending lectures is good because you will know the areas lectures emphasize on. Attending practicals is also equally important because practicals offer hands-on experience. You can't go wrong by attending lectures and practicals as some lecturers don't set questions from course materials or slides. Rather, they prefer to set questions from random obscure information they pass during lectures. If you are the type that loves to skip classes, you put yourself at risk of missing out from such important information. In my medical school, a student must have a minimum of 75% attendance to be eligible to appear for an in-course, test, or MB professional exam. Attendance also takes a chunk of your assessment. It's no secret that departments allot a percentage of the total assessment mark to attendance. Overall, attending lectures and practicals in Path and Farm will help you to build a strong foundation of theoretical knowledge practical skills and professional conduct, all of which are essential in your journey through medical school. Another key to success in pathology and pharmacology class is having access to the right resources. For my pathology, time was not on my side to be checking Robins and Contra test of pathology or basic Robins. To be frank, I only read chapter 1 to chapter 6 of basic Robins and that was it. I focused more on class materials, videos and class notes. Patoma videos were very helpful. I watched every single one of his videos, from chapter 1, which was good adaptations, cellular injury and cell death, to chapter 19, which was skin pathology. His videos provided a deep understanding of the subject for me and I would recommend it for any medical student in Path and Farm class. For chemical pathology, hematology and microbiology, I used textbooks and slides. Chemical pathology and hematology are not as bulky as Mobid and Micro. They are quite easy to pass if you know your way around. For pharmacology, many people have issues with pharmacology because of the numerous drugs and relatively new words you have to learn. Pharmacology is quite volatile. Sometimes even the classification is hard to remember. One time, I heard a classmate say he didn't know which between alcohol and pharmacology was more volatile. Nipicot's illustrated review of pharmacology helped me during my time. I also used Kazong's basic and clinical pharmacology. They were my two main tests for pharmacology. In addition to these tests, I also made use of class materials, videos, and class notes. I made use of Kaplan videos and Medicosis Perfectionalis. You can check out Medicosis Perfectionalis on YouTube. You will thank me later. If you are still watching this video at this point and probably finding it helpful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Another proven way to succeed in pathology and pharmacology class is to join an adequate discussion group. If you want to pass easily, ensure you join a discussion group. 
You see, 400 level is nicknamed the toughest year in medical school for a reason. The sheer amount of what you have to read, understand and memorize is so much that it would be impossible for an individual to finish it all by himself or herself. In my early days of Path and Farm, I tried reading alone, but the more I read, the more I realized that there was so much I didn't know. It was very difficult for me to remember all what I read during the exams and this affected my grades negatively. But when I joined a discussion group and started discussing with people, my grades got better without putting in as much effort as I did when I was studying alone. Moving on, it's important to acknowledge that studying Path and Farm can be mentally and emotionally taxing. Thus, another proven way to survive Path and Farm is to rest. Yes, another proven way to survive Path Farm is to rest. Take your time to rest. 400 level will stretch your mental capacity. Very few things in this life will test you like Path and Farm class. Many people cry. I know I didn't, but all the times I wanted to cry in medical school was in that class. The worst part is, after crying, nobody will tell you to clean your eyes and open your slides to continue reading. There were times many of my classmates wanted to give up the whole thing and just run back home. The mental pressure was just too much, but communication with senior colleagues helped us to maintain our cool. Have connections with seniors in 500 level and 600 level class. Take time to rest, be optimistic, and try as much as possible to be cheerful even though Path and Farm is showing you shige. Lastly, the final key to success in pathology and pharmacology is prayers. Whether you are a Muslim, Christian, or an atheist, there is the need for us to be prayerful. You will need spiritual guidance in this uncharted terrain of 400 level. Have faith in God and believe that you will scale through without issues. The truth is, the activities in 400 level can be so choked up that you will barely have time for other commitments or activities but ensure you remain prayerful. Take each posting as it comes very seriously. That way, your pre-MB scores will be good and the final MB will be a walk in the park for you. Remember, the hardcore 400 level is pathology and pharmacology. Don't focus so much on clinical medicine and surgery. Skip calls if you have to. Start studying your pathology and pharmacology regardless of the posting you are doing. It's called pathology and pharmacology class for a reason. I will stop here for now. Thank you so much for watching and staying with us to the end of this video. If you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover in future videos, please feel free to leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps our channel grow. Thank you so much for watching once again and see you in the next video.